Florence, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful cities in Italy. In fact, ये कहना गलत नहीं होगा कि शायद ये इटली का सबसे खूबसूरत शहर है इस सिटी हैज़ ए कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट वाइब एंड इट फील्स लाइक कि इटली की असल रूट्स असल जड़ें इसी शहर में हैं यू कैन स्पेंड योर होल डे इस वॉकिंग अराउंड द ब्यूटिफुल सांटा मरिया का थिएटर एंड यू विल कम्प्लीटली फॉल इन लव विद ए नॉर्मस आर्किटेक्चर इट्स सो बिग इज इट्स ऑलमोस्ट इम्पॉसिबल to take perfect pictures or videos of it the only way to really feel and capture the beauty of it is to come here and see it with your own eyes And if we talk about food, the city will never cease to amaze you. Out of many other delicious dishes, I would highly recommend trying out the Neapolitan-style wood-fire oven pizza at Pizzeria Vesuvio. The chef here also offers pizza-making classes, but for that, you have to book an appointment in advance. Florence is also famous for its beautiful bridges. You can surely spend a few hours to enjoy the view and the sunset. And if you are lucky, you might also get a chance to see the fireworks starting from 10 p.m. on different occasions. During my visit, I saw the San Giovanni fireworks light up the night magically on 24th of June. And you might also want to try this famous ice cream at La Caraia Bridge. You will also find a lot of paid services like luggage storage, change coin machines, and laundry units. I have been traveling for several days, so I decided to do some laundry before I check into my next hotel. We checked into Numa Fiore, a modern tech-led hotel brand that has completely revolutionized the industry with automation and innovation. Do check out their website numastays.com to make a reservation. Florence ki sabse khoobsurat baat ye hai ki yahan aapko har jagah artists ki performances karte hue nazar aayenge. You will see painters, dancers, jugglers. and singers almost everywhere
shut up, 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 up. Such a dumb, 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 dummy. It's almost funny. Oh, shut up. On our third day, we decided to do a long walk to the San Miniato Church, located on a hill in Florida. It's considered as one of the highest points in the city. It's almost 1.8 kilometers from the city center, and it took us around one hour to reach there. We absolutely love the fresh air and the views along the way. Come along with me as I take this long walk to the beautiful hill point. Hell point set me tiring walk to bar. We definitely wanted a good meal and we found just the perfect spot for that. Florence is famous for its genuine leather products and perfumes. We tried Fendi, Garrett and Van Hart. They all had great leather products, but we loved Van Hart for his hospitality and authenticity. Ben is a pleasure to meet with and he truly loves his work and his customers. And if you are looking for a good local perfume, go check out Equa di Firenze. All of their perfumes have both physical and spiritual meanings to them. I truly believe that when you visit Florence, you don't just leave, you leave a piece of your heart behind forever. Someone's gonna take the time away. You can stay as long as you like. 